How's it going, friends? Reckless Yuki here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you guys for so checking out the video. I do greatly appreciate it. And the audio quality in this video should be much better than the last video. And if you did watch the last video, thank you guys very much for the support. I do appreciate it. And if you have it, definitely check it out. Even though the audio quality was kind of poor, I reviewed a $230 mouse or kind of did an unboxing and showing you guys what the benefits of the mouse was at a price point of $230 which I think is a really cool mouse, but some bugs maybe need to fix in the future, but they are constantly improving it. And it did win the 2017 CES Most Innovative Gaming Product Award. So I thought it was a pretty cool device. But anyways, in this video, what I'd like to do is review a keyboard, which is this one right here that was sent out to me by Cherry. And I have to say that I love Cherry key switches. When it comes to a keyboard, I always look for premium cherry key switches. My personal favorites are browns, but I do like the clears. And if you're curious about which key switches you should get, probably check out one of these. I'll have a link to one of these in the description. This is called a key sampler. So before you spend a hundred plus dollars on a keyboard, definitely get one of these. They're about 15 to $20, depending on how many keys you want to test out. But you could split this up with a few friends just to test out to see what your preferred key switch is so that you can make a mental note and always pick that one in the future. So you only have to really like get something like this once, share it with your friends, and then you all kind of know what your preferences are. But anyways, getting into the keyboard itself, we'll kind of switch cam so you can have a closer look at it. So here's the keyboard in all its glory. And as you guys can see, it's a very plain looking keyboard. It has a very large footprint. And if you're curious about that footprint size, we'll just go into it now. It's about 18 and a half inches wide with about little like seven and three quarter inches deep. So that is very large for a full size keyboard, even though it is a full size keyboard compared to some others you could get on the market, this is very large. But one of the main features of this keyboard that you probably look into is the keys themselves. Cherry MX has been known to make some fantastic key switches over the years. And these key switches in particular are very nice to type on. I have to say when I was doing my finals last semester at the end about end of uh, April, May-ish, I was kind of using this keyboard to write my final papers. I have to say, I really did enjoy the typing experience with these keys because they have a nice bounce back, but they're also fairly quiet. And if you want to see the color of these keycaps, I'll just show you right now. As you can see, they are black Cherry MX switches, and these are supposed to be Cherry MX black silent switches, which I have to say they are silent. And to kind of give you guys a sound test of it, I'll just type out something real quick. So that's just me typing at a normal speed and the microphone is a shotgun microphone attached to the camera that you're viewing this from right now. And it's about two feet away. So this is the, you know, the loudness of it from two feet away. So it's not, it's not very loud at all. I have to say, I do like how quiet it is. And, you know, for a mechanical keyboard, this is very, very, very quiet. But one of the things I just can't get over is just the aesthetics and the very large print of this. Uh, just because if you are working in the area that you don't have a whole lot of desk space, this just takes up more. And I feel that there are some other options out there. As far as any other features of this keyboard, um, it's just kind of like a very plain. These are the feet to kind of raise it up a little bit. They snap into place very, very nicely. So they don't really go anywhere. Um, the cable itself is just a generic cable that goes into this hole in the cheaply made, well, not cheaply made, but it's a very kind of flimsy plastic where if you kind of pick it up and move around, it does wobble, which is something that I don't necessarily like. And if you do press on the keys, um, there is some flex in the board itself, which is something that kind of concerned me compared to some others. Um, I don't really necessarily personally like that flex, but you could think of it as some sort of suspension to make your typing experience a little bit easier. But for me personally, it's just not kind of cutting it for me. But I have to say, like I said at the beginning, that the Cherry MX Blacks are a nice key switch. And because of the rarity of those key switches, it's hard to find them in the keyboard unless if you go custom or find something like this that actually utilizes them. So that is kind of just a run through the keyboard. And I just want to do kind of a quick sound test compared to another keyboard. So I'm going to test this out again to kind of show you guys how loud this actually is. So that's, you know, how loud. And that was like decently hard typing um, just to kind of, whoops, <laughs> just to kind of move my fingers about and try to type fast. And here is a keyboard that I've been recently using a lot, which is from HyperX. And these use a Cherry MX Brown. So I'll just kind of type on this. So as you hear, this is a lot louder than the Cherry MX Black Silence, but these are kind of a different key switch. So also kind of just looking at 
the size of it. This is a full cherry or full size keyboard. Um, and you see that the bevel around the edges are very limited, um, which is something that I do like compared to the Cherry MX. So, you know, there's just a lot of space here that is just used just to kind of give you this big kind of, I guess, footprint, but it's, I don't think it's necessarily needed where other keyboard manufacturers give you something a lot smaller, yet still all the functionality. And they also kind of give some nice features that I really like with this HyperX is that you can unplug it with this mini USB from the front, which makes it easy to carry. And it also gets rid of this weak point here. So if you do have to carry it with you, you can easily unplug it and take it with you on the go. So why would you get one of these keyboards? I have to say that the main reason is for the Cherry MX Blacks. The Cherry MX Blacks do make a nice typing experience. And if that's your preference, then this is probably one of the few keyboards that will offer it. But as far as the aesthetics of it, I feel that the only people might be interested are those who want something that takes them back to maybe the early 90s, late 80s, when they used to work on something like an Apple II, possibly something like I used when I was in elementary school. And it kind of gives me that feeling that this is a keyboard from way back then. And it's kind of a nice thing to type on and play with, especially as an adult now, it kind of like makes me appreciate with how far things have come as far as the looks of it. Because having one of these sitting on your desk if you have a gaming setup is definitely isn't what you would necessarily want. But I think this is more for the professional aspect or if you have a home office that you're trying to keep at a higher level than some, you know, RGB light up show, then this is a good alternative um, as far as that kind of professional feel. But at the price of $115 or $150 MSRP, I think the price of this is kind of ridiculous where you could get something else for around 100 that has more features and takes up a lot less room, but it's all down to personal preference. So that's my review of the keyboard and just to sum up my opinions, I do like the key switches. I'm not a fan of the aesthetics and for $150, I would definitely go elsewhere when purchasing a keyboard for my own personal use, but that's because my own personal opinions and preferences are probably different from the target audience that this keyboard is trying to market towards. So that's just my opinions of this product. So it's not to say it won't work for you. If you think it's worth it, definitely get it. But if you are kind of iffy on it or if you want something else, there's plenty to choose from. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching the video. I do greatly appreciate it. If anyone's watching from Cherry, thank you guys very much. I do appreciate it. I still, like I said at the beginning, I love your key switches and I love your products. Uh, I just wish the aesthetics was something different or maybe something different for like the gamers at heart like me. But anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.